We're here in Savannah, Georgia, and something happened here in Chippewa Square 25 years ago. This is right where the, uh, the Forrest Gump bench was. This is where Tom Hanks was sitting on the bench. They shot this in 1993. Obviously, the movie's 25 years old now. Hello. My name's Forrest, Forrest Gump. This is kind of where it all started, because if I hadn't have done Forrest Gump... Oh, hello, people! Hello, everyone! <laughs> Just a little sidetrack there. If I hadn't have done Forrest Gump, I wouldn't have uh, been contacted by the DAV and invited to come to their national convention. Hello, DAV! How are you? It's good to be back! We are on Facebook Live here at DAV's 98th DAV National Convention. And we're winning actor Gary Sinise is here with us, and he's a friend of DAV's. <laughs> and has just spent some time signing copies of his new book, Grateful American, for our members, families, and all of our supporters. You're coming tonight, right? Oh, yes. Yeah. I know our members are in a lot of anticipation for the fun night for Lieutenant Dan Band to play for us. <laughs> that, like? that, that's what they call it, <laughs> the fun night. He was a famous traveling man from Chicago way. He had a purpose style that no one else could play. He was the top man at his craft. But then his stomach came up, but he was gone from the draft. He's in the army now, a blowing reveille. He's the boogie woogie bugle boy company. In the book, the whole prologue is about your first DAV National Convention, 1994, almost to the date 25 years ago. I remember it well. Gary's portrayal of Lieutenant Dan was right on the mark. They gave you the Congressional Medal of Honor. Now that's Lieutenant Dan. I mean, you know, the, the way he, his anger and the way he treated people, all of that was perfect. Just about three or four weeks after the movie came out, I got a call from the DAV and they asked me to come and receive an award. When he came out, he looked pretty stunned, I think, pretty surprised. In fact, I named the, the prologue of my book. It's called Stunned, and, and uh, it starts with that very first trip to Chicago to attend the DAV convention in 1994. It was an honor to play Lieutenant Dan. I guess it was... Uh... In some ways, you know, when Lieutenant Dan talks about his destiny, I, I kind of feel like there, there was something at play there, that I would get to play that part, and it was an honor to play that Vietnam veteran, and it brought me to the DAV, so God bless you. I don't know of any other actor or actress that played a role and then adopted it as part of their personal life. Lieutenant Dan! Hey, How the baby's here. Hi, guys. You and Lieutenant Dan. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Can you say uh, I wanted to try out my sea legs? Thought I'd try out my sea legs. Try out my sea legs. <laughs> 25 years later, I mean, and he's still, still at it. I love coming here to support the DAV. You meet veterans from all over the country. Is my face out there in the, <laughs> the back cover? <laughs> from many different conflicts. Is that That's where you were when you got hurt? I got exposed to him fairly early on, right after my amputations. You're like Forrest Gump. You show up everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's phenomenal when somebody's willing to reach out like that and come and want to be a part of what we do with the DAV and obviously somebody with that stature and recognition factor that Gary has. Have a rockin' time tonight. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> like for you on the other side of it playing for a crowd of disabled veterans and their families? We get to entertain them and I get to celebrate them and, and show my appreciation for them. It's something I look forward to every year. He's, he's here for us. 